In 20 minutes, learn to incorporate music in language instruction, making input comprehensible while using songs to motivate students. As students and as teachers, we have access to great music and the target language, and current popular music entices us to experience other cultures. When songs are well chosen, the lyrics are contemporary poems that offer language full of images and ideas. Sometimes the music video to a song can be a virtual voyage to another land. Songs can also motivate and engage students while promoting proficiency. So let's look at how we can use music in proficiency-based instruction. Teachers bring music into the classroom in different ways. Some teachers play a song once a week for their students' enjoyment. Others have a voting competition between songs to see which the class likes most. Yet another idea is to use songs to dance to for brain breaks. How do we as teachers build on these ideas to use music to promote proficiency? How can we add to our current techniques to make teaching using music communicative? I like to use songs as authentic documents to teach language, and in 20 minutes you will understand how I do this with intention and purpose to instruct language. To start, Let's look at how you can learn about new music and how you can build a collection of songs. I have two great resources to share. For French teachers, there is the Facebook page Musique Mercredi. If you follow this page, there are frequent song suggestions for particular themes. For Spanish teachers, Alice and Weinhold's YouTube playlists are excellent. Let me say right away that I will share links to the sites I mentioned in the resources folder. We are so lucky as world language teachers that there are other teachers who are compiling songs and sharing them. Even if your ultimate playlist is one that you curate yourself, starting with others' ideas for inspiration is helpful and time efficient. So with your new ideas for songs, you can make a playlist on YouTube yourself, like Alison Weinholt has done. This has been a way that teachers have been collecting music for free for a while. Newer to the scene and more current is to make a playlist on Spotify. I like this option better because I have found that students have Spotify, and so sharing a playlist with them on this platform is easy if they ask you for music to listen to outside of class. Whether you use YouTube or Spotify, one of the advantages of making a playlist is that you will receive suggestions from the site for songs you might like, which will help you add to your playlist. Once you have a collection of songs, you will start to catalog them, either making mental notes or labeling them. A collection of songs grows over the years as you find songs that will suit different purposes. There will be songs that you can plug into particular themes and you will want to save those songs to use when they are most suited to your instruction. Here is what my notes look like with a thematic unit and the song. In his book, While We Are On The Topic, Bill Van Patten leads the reader to truly understand why study, memorization, and rote practice doesn't lead to language acquisition. It is not enough to repeat what the teacher says, as learners need to encounter language in a communicative context. Students learn language when they attempt, in Van Patten's word, to comprehend language during communication. I think I understood the nature of language learning during graduate school, but it was only after many years of teaching experience that I could plan activities for my students that prioritized ways to make them engage in understanding language. So I moved away from closed activities and word clouds when teaching with songs, and today I'm going to share with you what I do now instead. I'm going to share four ideas to use communication around songs. A relevant topic for young people is expressing opinions about and reacting to music. So this first idea is opinions and reactions. Students seem to be engaged when expressing opinions, frankly, on many different topics. You can teach them to express their opinions about songs and then use the same skill to express opinions on other topics. Expressing opinions comes up a lot in communication. Teach them early on to do this starting with, I like, and I don't like, and then extending on to answer the question, why, with because. On this slide, you will see the sentence starters in English. You can find this slide in the resources folder, 
and change it into the language that you teach. Warm up for class by using these sentence starters to talk about your students' own point of view with the words that they like and they don't like. Even novices, with your help, can talk about simple preferences. In French and Spanish, there are some cognates that beginners pick up quickly, like basketball, chocolate, and some animal names, which makes it easy to talk about preferences. Next, you will want to teach possible answers to the question why. If you rewrite these slides into the language you teach, you can go over the terms with your students, relying on cognates and circumlocution to teach them while you describe styles of music or American groups that you like and don't like or anything else that you want. Check that students are understanding as you go. Then employ the activity thumbs up, thumbs down to solidify understanding, asking the question, is this a good or bad characteristic in your opinion of music? I may like sad music, but a student would prefer happy music. So we have our own different answers. Ask the students to go through the list, holding their thumbs up or down in pairs first. Then in large group, as the teacher reads through the targeted vocabulary, the students react and the teacher can launch a spontaneous discussion about the ones that students disagree on. After this, play a few different currently popular songs in the target language and ask students to talk in pairs about their opinion. Remember that students don't have to listen to the whole song, about 30 seconds is enough, and make a choice on whether or not you want to show the video as you do. If you show the video, you can ask students about the music and the images separately. The exit ticket for that day can be to express their opinions on three of the songs you heard together using this slide. An extension activity, as your students get more proficient, is to talk about different aspects of the video. Ask students what they thought of the idea presented in the video, as well as the music, choreography, costumes, and design of the set. Adding on to what students can comment on through teaching a few more words will help extend the activity. Once you've introduced vocabulary for expressing opinions and reactions, you have it for whenever you use a song. The first activity, before you go on to any of the others that I'm going to talk about, can always be to play 20 seconds of the song and then ask students to express their opinions. Expressing our opinion and reacting to music is a natural topic for students in the discourse community that you are building in your classroom. Allow me to move on to the second idea, story scripts. I want to share a method created by Kara Jacobs. Story scripts for songs were created out of a desire to make authentic songs comprehensible when the lyrics might be too complex. Jacobs has shared examples of the technique in Spanish, Spanish which are found on her website, and I have made this technique accessible for French teachers by posting a few of my own on my blog. In the resources folder, I have links to both. Kara either writes a script to tell the story of a music video or writes one for the song, but most frequently it's for the music video. I find this idea to be ingenious because it is a way to give comprehensible input to students while sharing a song. By writing a story that either summarizes and simplifies the story of the song or tells the story of the video, the teacher is able to give the students input that is often more accessible than the lyrics. This method takes some time to prepare as the teacher chooses a song that fits into the targeted vocabulary of the unit and has to write the story. For my first attempt, I chose the story of a boy who wants to be a rock star and how he presents his dream on career day to his elementary school class. It is funny and captures the listener. I use it in my unit on a typical day with a vocabulary for breakfast, school, wake up and walk to school. The story I wrote is the story of the music video, but I included some of the lyrics of the song in my story as well, hoping to help the students understand the song too. When writing the story, I shelter vocabulary and not grammar. I use the correct verb tense to express my ideas. Even though the grammar I use is complex, I knew my students can understand. For vocabulary, I use cognates and rely heavily on vocabulary they already know to help make the story comp comprehensible. 
Here are the steps I do based on Kara's format. At the end of going through the steps, I have a slide that sums them up, and I've included that slide in the resources folder. First, give students a sheet with six boxes like you see on this slide. Read the story out loud, stopping at the end of each paragraph. Students draw what they hear. Students can use one box for each paragraph if you guide them that way. I've included a document with the boxes for your use in the resources folder. Next, show the video. Usually the students will enjoy watching it and will understand more of the song. After that, hand out the story and have students read it. Make sure to collect back the story. Then have students unscramble the story. Finally, play Quizlet Live with the words left out of the sentences from the story, with words left out of the sentences from the story. For homework, students rewrite the story and change three things, including the end of the story. Have them use their pictures to remember what happens. The next day, students read their stories to their group and the other group members ident identify the changes. The group votes on the best story and the group re rehearses it. The teacher reads out loud the best stories from each group as the group members act them out. Here are the steps again. I won't take time to reread them as you can find them in the resources folder. I assume that you know that you don't need to do every step every time. And I assume that you also know that I'm presenting this method to you, hoping that you will change it and follow your own style. Penguin stories. I think that stories for music videos work well with intermediate low learners. There's yet another great way to deliver comprehensible input for songs that I think works better for novice mid learners. And I learned this technique from Elizabeth Barron's posts on Musique Mercredi. Elizabeth writes stories about penguins to preview vocabularies from current songs. I wrote two penguin stories in the same style, one in French and one in Spanish. I would like to walk you through a few slides from each to show you what I was trying to do with them. This French song, Mon Précieux by Soprano, is about how a smartphone has become a precious object, close to being a loved one for the singer. The video makes the idea easy to understand through images, and the language is simple and employs many cognates. So I was sure my students would be able to understand some of the lyrics given enough support. Unlike the story scripts that I just described, in Penguin Stories, I tell a new stories, a new story, not the one from the song, nor the one from the video, using the vocabulary that I want to target. I start the story recycling vocabulary that my students already have. At that point in the year, my students already knew how to greet others, how to describe oneself, and how to say what one likes. So my first few slides tell the story of the penguin using that vocabulary. Hello, I am a penguin. I have black eyes and my favorite color is green. Notice that he's wearing a green scarf. With my friend, I like to talk on the phone. Then I get into the targeted vocabulary. The song talks about sharing one's life, taking a friend by the hand, and something being precious to someone. The song is called My Precious, referring to the phone. After this preview, I know that the students are ready to hear and understand some of the lyrics as they watch the video. You will be able to get a better idea of this by watching the video and seeing the slideshow, which you can access from the resources folder. But I think with that short explanation, you can see how I am previewing vocabulary in a song through simple storytelling with pictures for further support. For my Spanish example, I use the song Ven conmigo a jugar la Copa del Mundo by Uno, Dos, Tres, Andres and Juan Miguel because it is a song that a colleague has found works well with students and is full of joy. In this version of the Penguin Story, I targeted vocabulary around sports to use this song and video in a unit on sports and activities, including the terms playing soccer, in the park, in the stadium, with a team, or with friends, 
come play with me and we are going to have fun. Again, this will make a lot more sense with the context of the song, so please access it from the slides I've put into the resources folder. Let's take this opportunity to look at a concrete example of how to address culture through music. When my colleague is teaching this song to third graders, she addresses the number of continents from a Latin perspective. The song is written for the 2018 World Cup. So to start, she looks at a map of countries that played in, the, in that World Cup and asks students to count how many different continents are represented. Almost all of the students say six, some say five, and some say seven. And she asks them to show her the continents. She's doing all of this in the target language in Spanish. The students see that America is considered in Latin America and Spain one continent, not two. They may have learned that there are seven continents, but that isn't what everyone learns. And she goes further into the name America and the name Estados Unidos. At this point, they go back to the song and look at the Cinco Continentes line. Lyrics as a reading. Once you've previewed the song through using storytelling, either with a story script or with a penguin story, your students will be ready to read the lyrics as a text, or at least read parts of the lyrics. You should have, by now, played the full song and maybe the video too. When students are listening to the song, you may want them to read the lyrics as they listen or to sing along. To extract more comprehensible language from the song, or to, to further extract comprehensible language from the song, you can work with the lyrics as a reading. If the whole of the song is too much, use the chorus and just a few lines of the song. You can bold the lines you want students to focus on and try one of the following ideas for using the lyrics as a text. Writing a new chorus, create a found poem, or match the lyrics to target language phrases, paraphrases. Let's look at the first idea, to write a new chorus. Sometimes the point of the song will be nicely summed up in the chorus, and that will be enough for you to tackle with your students. Does the chorus have a structure that lends itself to being rewritten by just replacing a few words? If so, students can write their own version of the chorus. Other times the stanza from the song will contain a structure you want to model for your students. In that case, you could have your students rewrite the structure to talk about themselves just by replacing a few words. The second idea is to create a found poem. A found poem is another chance for students to copy parts of the song to make it their own. In a found poem, whole lines are lifted and recombined, leaving other lines out and substituting some words to make a new message in a new poem. And the final idea is match lyrics to target language paraphrases. Seeing that the language of songs is poetic and full of imagery, if you take a few stanzas and rewrite them into straightforward language, you can then ask, ask students to pair up the paraphrased stanzas with the original ones. So now I am at the conclusion of this presentation. This slide summarizes my main points and it's in the resources folder. I have shared many ideas here. Think about what you can make your own. Consider adding your next step in the comments to start a conversation with other teachers. In the resources folder, I have all the links you will need to help get you started. The shortened URL for the resources folder is bit.ly slash WL teaching music. Thanks for watching today. I hope that this has been helpful. I will be sharing about how to get students talking with art in my next video. I hope to see you then.